We're seeing all over this nation, all cities and all parts of the country, indeed across the world, an outpouring of joy, of hope, renewed faith, and tomorrow, bring a better day. We're bringing faith back to democracy. This is a great day for everyone, great day for America. The voters decided this election, those votes have been counted. We've seen voter turnout numbers explode around the country. A record more than 74 million Americans voted for the Biden ticket. Young voters are refusing to be left out. The most diverse voting electorate in American history. The Republican Party, I should say, is trying to do is suppress the vote. Some waited many hours to cast their ballot. First time vote. It was good, it was good. This is one of the most important elections of our lifetime. It is worth the wait in line. Joe Biden has won the Keystone State, Pennsylvania. And Joe Biden has won the state of Wisconsin. The winner in Michigan. Biden took the lead statewide in Georgia. Joseph R. Biden Jr. is elected the 46th president of the United States. Americans have called upon us to marshal the forces of decency, the forces of fairness, and the forces of hope in the great battles of our time. The battle to restore decency, defend democracy, and give everybody in this country a fair shot. I will be the first openly gay African-American member of Congress. My name is Sarah McBride, and I am a proud transgender American. So yesterday's election in 2020 represents the passing of the torch. To the black women, the black girls, the nurses, the essential workers, the single mothers, this is our moment. To see someone who looks like her, who looks like him, is going to really um, help them and help other children. Senator Kamala Harris becoming the first black woman to serve as vice president. Now is when the real work begins, the hard work, the necessary work. And the road ahead will not be easy, but America is ready. We must make the promise of the country real for everybody, no matter their race, their ethnicity, their faith, their identity, or their disability. As my grandpa, our grandpa, used to say when I walked out of his home, keep the faith. And our grandmother, when she was alive, she yelled, no, Joey, spread it. Thank you, thank you, thank you.